Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra Devine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I have an unboxing and try on haul of a few pieces from the incredible designer Nadine Morabi. So I will start off by saying that this video is not sponsored by Nadine Morabi in any way. They don't know that I am making this video. Everything that I bought today, I purchased with my own money. If you like the video today, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you turn on the bell, you'll also get the notifications for my upcoming videos. So this box arrived on Thursday or Friday last week. It is currently Tuesday. And I'm so proud of myself for not opening this yet because I absolutely love Nadine Morabi. So it's been so, so hard not to open this box, but I really wanted to do the unboxing with you guys as well, because when I've ordered from Nadine Morabi before, well, now normally I've only ever, I've only ever ordered like one dress at a time because, you know, it's not the cheapest. Um, but when I have ordered before, the dresses come really, really well packaged. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Now I've ordered three different pieces in the haul today and yeah, I'm going to be interested to see if they're coming as nicely packaged because I'm not sure if there is three boxes in this box, but you know, we're going to find out together. For anyone who has never heard of Nadine Morabi before, basically she is a UK based designer, design house, and they kind of specialize in occasion wear, you know, mother of the bride, posh event wear, Hindus, those kind of things. So the collection that I've ordered from today, the three pieces are from the white collection. So this collection is very much aimed at kind of hen parties and, you know, kind of alternative bridal, I would say as well, or kind of second dress bridal. Okay, so let's jump right in. I have a pen to open this sellotape. I haven't come prepared with scissors, but hopefully this is going to do the job. Okay, so let's get this over. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. To, I literally cannot wait to see these pieces. So I'm trying to have a little sneak peek in the box before, oh my God, there's more tape. It does look like they are coming in the individual boxes. So, ooh, guys. Okay, so let's get this open and let's see, oh gosh. <gasps> guys it is coming in the posh boxes still oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> so here is the boxes that they come in so like i said i ordered three pieces in the haul today there are only two of these boxes so i'm assuming that there's going to be two dresses in one box and then one in another hopefully hopefully they haven't missed one of my pieces so yeah so i absolutely love this packaging it's so beautiful it has nadine Morabi on the top here and then this kind of ribbon closing and it's a really kind of good quality box now like i said um nadine Morabi is not a kind of a cheap brand in any way the three pieces that i ordered in the haul today i think i will double check and i'll let you know the prices of each piece as i go along but i'm sure it was around 950 pounds for the three pieces so if it hadn't have come this well packaged i think to be honest i would have been a little bit disappointed because i think when you're kind of treating yourself to a little bit more of an expensive purchase it's nice to have the little extras a little bit of extra luxury included as well and one thing that i like about this box is that it's not going to go to waste it, this is a proper dress box so you're going to be able to store your items in this box to keep it protected from damage and everything so i just think that's a really beautiful touch absolutely love that 10 out of 10 so far the moment i've been waiting for for the last few days let's get this opened up and see which ones we are going to be starting with oh when you open the box here we have this little quote and it is coming all wrapped up in this lovely nadine Morabi tissue paper guys i love this. i love a little luxury purchase i think you know i, I don't like splurge on luxury purchases very often. So I think it is just a really like a nice treat when you do treat yourself to something. Oh, guys, guys, okay. So when you open up the tissue paper here, it's coming with an Adine Morabi dress bag and a little card and it's literally got my name handwritten on it. <gasps> guys, I'm already, oh my gosh, I'm already in love. So, oh my God. I just absolutely love this personal touch. I just think that's so lovely that someone's kind of taken the time to do this. And I know it doesn't take like heaps of time to do it, but I just think those little touches are the things that really make this feel like a luxurious purchase and a luxurious item. So I'm very impressed with that. When you open this up inside, we have got, 
Okay, so we've got a little handwritten note here. It's on this Nadine Morabi card. And then these are little bits. Okay, so you've got kind of got like the return information, the return slip, and just like a little little note. Pop that up there so you can have a little look at it. Um, yeah, I just think that's lovely. And okay, okay. So this one is a little bit thing about how to fit it properly. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so, so impressed with that. So I'm going to open the other box as well because I think there's definitely only one dress in that box I've just opened. So I'm going to grab the other box as well just to make sure there is, just to make sure there is two in the other box because so we have the second box let's see fingers crossed that there is two in here because i'm definitely a little bit worried that maybe they haven't sent one but let's see okay so oh yeah yes there's two there's two thank goodness i'm gonna head and try these on now as i'm trying them on i will let you know the sizes the prices of each one so dress number one i actually have a little bit of a history with this dress guys i actually did order this dress about this time last year for my hen party and I sent it back. So basically I'd seen a lot of other brides, like a lot of other Santorini brides in like a Facebook group that I'm a member of and they were having this dress as their hen party dress and they all looked amazing in it. And I was like, oh, I need to get a bit of that action. So yeah, it was around April time I ordered this dress. Now this dress is 345 pounds so it is by no means a cheap dress you know considering it's a midi length it's not like even a full length evening dress 345 pounds and obviously i was well i was due to get married in june 2020 so i ordered this in april 2020 at the time still hoping that my hen party and wedding you know could have gone ahead i was very optimistic <laughs> and so at that time in april I was kind of like one of many thousands of people across the UK, across the world who was either furloughed or in my case, my, you know, my businesses were closed down because of Corona. Um, but I still really, really wanted this dress, you know, didn't know how long anything was going to go on for. So I ordered it. Now, when it came and I tried it on, I didn't love it. Not as much as I thought I was going to, because all these other ladies looked absolutely amazing in it and I just felt like I just didn't look as good in it and I sent it back for a refund but I just couldn't stop thinking about it ever since and there was another girl who was selling um selling this dress in my size she was selling it for 200 pounds so 145 pound off and I was so tempted this was about a few months ago and I was so tempted to buy it off her but I thought I don't you know I, I don't know because I don't know if I really like it or not but I've still not been able to stop thinking about it. So here we are, here we are. Uh, I got this dress in a size small, which yeah, size small. Uh, and on that, their size guide, it equates to a size eight. This one, it did, it did fit me perfectly. I think it was rolling up very slightly on the hips, which makes me think it was slightly too small on my hips, but I think the size up definitely would have been too big. So this would have been you know the size to go for this this dress is interesting as well so it's kind of got like a nude it's not really a skirt underneath it is you've got your skirt over the top and then you've got like a bodysuit on the inside and that's to kind of give it this kind of like kind of like a naked look to be fair i think um the detail's beautiful let me pop the detail up a little bit closer so you can see the sequin detail on it um i love the design i think it's absolutely stunning i i feel like no further forward with how I feel about it. I do think that I prefer it this time that I've tried it on as opposed to last year. I'm not sure if, it, you know, yeah, you know when you kind of like, so my businesses were closed and I think in the back of my head somewhere I was kind of thinking, should I really, really be spending 345 pounds on a dress right now? Like I have effectively no job right now. Um, is that wise? So I wasn't sure if I just maybe like talked myself out of it or if I just really didn't like it. And I'm still, I'm still not sure. I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments, which of these dresses you like best on me, which ones that you like best to look off for yourself as well. This dress does also come in a full length maxi version as well. The full length version is 495 pounds. It does come in other colors as well. So if you love the design, but you 
don't want like for your Hindu or you know you just want it for a different occasion it does also come in black red and I think it's like a champagne gold color as well dress number two is so beautiful it is this gorgeous v-neck skater dress the quality of this dress is absolutely beautiful the way that it's been designed and the structure and the material to give it just that fabulous kind of flow out from your waist I think is beautiful I love that it has the nude underlining with the ivory over the top this dress was £265, so quite a bit cheaper than the last dress, to be honest with you, but I don't think that it looks any cheaper. This also does come in other colours as well. I know that it definitely comes in blue, maybe red as well? Definitely some other colours though. I picked this one up in the small to medium, which on their size guide is a 10. They didn't have the 8 in stock and it was too big for me. It wasn't massive for me to be fair, but it definitely would have needed some tailoring, perhaps, you know, definitely up on the top because I'm definitely smaller on top than on the bottom. I will pop this one up a little bit closer so you can see the detail on it. I love the lace detail across the waist to give it kind of that belt look. I think that's absolutely beautiful. This dress does not have any padding in the cups, just for reference. I love this dress. I think this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful dress. Oh my gosh, dress number three. I absolutely love this dress. This is so beautiful. This one was in the sale as well. So I love a sale. This one was 495. I picked it up in the sale for 371. So I mean, still not kind of Still not too much of a bargain, but you know, for the quality of this dress, I think that's actually a really good price. This satin is absolutely beautiful. It's like a really kind of heavy, but good quality silky satin material. The detail on the top, oh my gosh, is just absolutely stunning. It's kind of got a tiny little bit of sparkle, but without being like too much. I love the corsety detail on the front. I just think that this is so, so beautiful. I picked this one up again in the size small, which is a size eight, and this one was kind of big for me. It was definitely too big on top. I would definitely need to have this tailored uh, just to have it like nipped in. I do think the size smaller, the size extra small, the size six would have been too small because whilst this was big on top, this did fit me nice on my hips. This one also does have, because it does have a big split, but it has the bodysuit on the inside, which I think is great because you're not going to flash your underwear. I love the train on this. I honestly, I don't have a single bad word to say about this dress. I think it's absolutely stunning. Definitely a consideration as a second wedding dress. My mum's going to absolutely kill me because I think I'm onto about my fifth second wedding dress now. <laughs> so, so, um, but yeah, I, I just love, love, love this. I mean, this one is the kind of design where it's, it is, could be bridal, but also you could just wear this to like an event or like some kind of white party, one of those kind of things. And it, you know, wouldn't be too much, like not too extra. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I just think that this is so 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 beautiful but that brings us to the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in my next one bye guys